welcome. Hallelujah. Father, you are to be adored by all of us this morning. And we declare the Lord that you, there is none like you. We give you all the glory. God, you are great. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him, guys. Worship him. Bless his holy name. Let him hear you adoring him. Let him hear you giving him glory. Let him hear you telling him that he is worthy to be praised. I want you to lift up your voice to him this morning and say, Father, in this month of May and the rest of the year, do more for me than in the previous months, Lord. Lord, I come to just give you glory and I know that you are going to glorify yourself as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in my life, you will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. You are Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. The psalmist saying this and says, Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore me. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is holy. For he alone is Christ the Lord, ancient of days, the father of all fathers. We come to you this morning on this altar of protocol breaking prayers to declare and decree that you are the father of uh, for all fathers. You are the original one, God. You are the God that is real and there is no fakeness about you. You are a God that does not lie. Talk to me, somebody. You are the one who brings causes to the causes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the unchangeable changer. You are the unchangeable changer. God, you are great. Somebody declare it. God, you are greater. We bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done for us thus far. We thank you, Lord, for the month of January, February, March, April, and May as we concluded. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for June, July, August, September, October, and November. Oh, God, we thank you for December that we end on a greatest note ever because we reflect the greatness of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for our lives. We thank you for our children's lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for our parents' life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the power that resides in you that you have put inside of us. Thank you, Lord, that we are not defeated, that we are charging forward and declaring your greatness. Everything about us will reflect your greatness in this 31 days of grace and favor. Oh God, in this 26th day, oh God. You have elevated us above in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, never like before. Bless me like never before. Bless me like never before. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, that you are a God who is great, who is strengthening us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you have anointed us, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you have protected us this far. And if you have protected us this far, Lord, you are taking us further in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, thank you for promotions in this month of May and beyond. God, you are great. Somebody tell him he is greater in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have fought our battles for us and you will continue to fight our battles for us. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. Make sure you are telling him God is great and you're shouting that amen louder. Lord, thank you, Lord. We pray, oh God, this morning we come before you to declare your greatness, oh God. We declare your greatness, oh God, and we come to humbly ask that, Lord, you give us a victory, oh God, in every one of our endeavors, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, thank you. You have made us undefeated champions thus far, Lord. The enemy has not taken our lives and he will not take our lives. The enemy will not take our health. The enemy will not take our wealth and our lineage, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord. You are the undefeated. You are the victorious. You are the unchangeable changer. You are the one who is great in our life, who has put greatness DNA inside of us. Father, we declare and we decree that we are above and not beneath because of you who has decided to elevate us and put us on mountaintops. And oh, Kariyama Sek. Kelly. Father, we come to you this morning to just declare your greatness, oh God. We declare you are great in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as you did it for Joseph, oh God, you elevated him, Lord. Father, we come to you this morning. Let every, every single evil that has been planned against us, oh God, to try and bring us down, let it come to naught in the name of Jesus Christ. Greatness is in degrees, greatness in higher levels of degrees in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare God is great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is great. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you are just joining us as you are coming in, you are seeing them in the comment section. They are declaring the goodness of Lord of the Lord. Hallelujah. They are saying that God is great and make sure you join them to proclaim this. God is great. Hallelujah. Whatever has been stolen in terms of your greatness, whoever stole your greatness from your father's house, from your mother's house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree a resurrection right now of your greatness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
greatness. Greatness is not just the promise in the Bible, child of God. Greatness is more than that. For the Almighty to open up his mouth and say to you, you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. That means that God is giving more than a promise. God is giving a declaration. God is legislating. And he is saying you shall be the head and not the tail. And you will be above and not beneath. Talk to me, somebody. Tell your neighbor, I am not meant for the underground. I am meant to be on the top in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is a covenant that God is doing. God is saying, I'm signing this contract that declares my covenant of greatness. I am telling you that you are going to be great. I am telling you that you have no option. Somebody shout, God is great. Talk to me, somebody. It is a covenant where God is saying, I have destined you to be great, including every single body, every single body in your house, everybody in your household, everybody who is associated with you is destined for greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. Your DNA is destined for greatness. Your dogs, everything that you own is destined for greatness. Your business has no option but to be great in the mighty name of Jesus. What does it mean to be great? Fortune, you ask me. Greatness means that you will be outstanding in whatever you do. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody shout, God is great. Greatness means that you are going to be successful. Greatness means that you're going to be prosperous. Talk to me. Greatness means that you are going to live a life of blessings. Is there somebody in the house who has experienced the greatness of the Lord? Is there somebody who has seen the success and the prosperity of the Lord? Is there somebody who has seen that they are outstanding? You are outstanding. You are outstanding in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are great and you are living under the anointing of the greatness of God, you understand that everything about you is blessed. Amen. Your life gives joy and succor to other people. Hallelujah. It is not a measure of what you possess. It's not by how much money you have. It is about how much God has invested in you. Talk to me, somebody. God has invested enough goodness to make you great in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, God has given you a great life. Somebody shout, I have a great life. I have a great life. I serve a great God. I have a great life. Everything about me is great in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can bring nothing out. You may have 10 limousines. You may have 10 Lamborghinis. But none of them will be buried with you. You may have a thousand uh, mansions. You may have a, a house by the beach, but that house by the beach is not going down with you when you are going to meet your Lord and Savior. Am I communicating to somebody? Somebody shout, God is greater. God is greater. God is great. Hallelujah. Ah, who gave you those things? Make sure you are declaring to him this morning and say, God, you are greater. Have you not seen that those that thought they will rely on the material of the world. Those who are stingy, they keep on losing. Hallelujah. They don't understand that there is a God who has an endless supply. Talk to me. Oh, Rabbi Shonda, let me tell you, saint of God, the quality of being greater, that is the quality of being distinguished. So if you are going to ask somebody, if you are going to ask God this morning on this altar, you are going to ask God, God make me distinguished. God make me great and manifest my greatness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Unusual greatness is coming forth to your side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to be larger than life. God is elevating you above the ordinary. God is saying, I'm a great God. You are my child. You are a great child in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is making you outstanding. God is going to make you notable. God is going to make you remarkable. Am I communicating? There's not enough words in the English dictionary that I can use to describe the level and the extent and the DNA of the greatness that God is expanding. God is going to advertise his power in your life. God is saying, I am taking you out from the submarine under the water. I am taking you to the surface so that they can see that I can advertise you. You don't need to pay pay marketing fees for this. You don't have to pay an advertisement fee for this because I'm a God that is advertising you. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody declare God is great. Talk to me, somebody. Are we tracking together this morning? Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise and advertise me. Somebody declare it in the comment section. Advertise 
advertise your power in my life. God, arise and advertise your power in my life. Father, we come this morning. My Father, my Father, we declare and we decree that you are arising in our lives and you are going to advertise your power in our lives. Somebody declare it. God, advertise your power in my life. God, advertise your power in my life. Talk to me, somebody. TikTok, are we communicating? Are we tapping on that screen? God, advertise your power in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, let something superior come out of whatever I do. Let something superior come out of my life in the name of Jesus. Mm. Something magnificent is coming out of your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, use me as an advertisement of your power. Use me as an advertisement of your power. That is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Use me, Lord, as an advertisement of your power in the name of Jesus. Oh, I declare and I decree that you will fulfill your purpose in life in the name of Jesus. Oh, when God is great in your life and manifesting his greatness. It means that something superior, something huge, a state of being famous and being important is being released and being imparted to you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are being elevated to a position of distinction, something wonderful, something that is rated number one, first class, A grade. Talk to me, somebody. I see the Lord saying that you are A grade. You are first class in the name of Jesus. You are not flying economy on this flight of greatness this morning. You are flying first class. Talk to me. Oh, Mary was a famous woman who brought Jesus into this world. Mary did not fly around anywhere. Mary was not but he was she was the most famous and popular woman all over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about Mary who never preached in any church. Mary never preached on any altar. Mary never received an invitation for any conference, but Mary was famous. Do you understand the anointing you came into contact this morning with? You came with the anointing of the greatness of God, and that is the type of the anointing that will elevate you. You don't need to climb the ladder by sleeping with anybody. You don't need to buy favors or need to bribe anybody, but there is an anointing that was upon our mother, Mary, mother, mother of Jesus, that elevated her, that made her famous. That same anointing is upon Upon you. That same anointing is upon your business in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, am I communicating? Hey, as you have tempt, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, she did not visit many countries. Listen, I want to talk to that one who is in that village at the back streets, at the dusty streets of that location. I am saying you, God is elevating you in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of greatness has come into contact with you. Mary did not have to pronounce herself as a prophetess. Mary did not lay hands on anybody to be healed, but she was famous. Oh God, elevate me, Lord. What you did for Mary did do more than for me in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to pray this morning. Hallelujah. Kariyama Sonda. Mm. I see Mary. God is taking me through the life of Mary. She says, uh, God, God, Mary was not uh, like Elijah. She did not send fire down like Elijah, but Mary was famous. Uh, somebody say, I am great. I'm famous. I'm becoming famous. I'm being elevated. God is announcing me this morning. Hallelujah. Those who did not know about your business will know about your business. Those who did not know that your Lord lives, they will know. Those who did not know that the lame can walk will know that the lame can walk through you. Somebody is getting into contact and is being ushered into a level of greatness. Your ministry is shifting levels in the name of Jesus. When you look at Mary, we did not read that she was seated in some high table with some people, with ministers or whoever. He, she was not sitting with politicians. Talk to me. Nobody saw Mary's name in any newspaper headline when she was alive. But God, but God, but God, but God, God said, I'm a great God. And God said, 
said, I will envelope you. I will overlap you. I will overwhelm you. I will go before you. I will be around you. I'll be your protection. And I will bring, make sure that everybody gets to know about you. There is no way that anybody who is a Christian can ever forget Mary. History cannot forget Mary. I decree and I declare that history shall not forget you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I said, I decree and declare that history shall not forget you. The books of history shall not forget you. Your autobiography is being written right now. Do you understand that you were called? There is a covenant called. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. That is the covenant that you are moving with. That is the service level agreement that you are moving with. Those are the terms and conditions that you are moving with. That is a down payment. You are the head and not the tail and yet can never be otherwise. No matter what the devil wants to think in the mighty name of Jesus, there is no way your name will go down in history unrecognized. There is no way you are coming out of this earth with a birth certificate and a death certificate only. May you be announced in newspapers. May you be announced wherever you need to be announced in the name of Jesus. But even when they try not to suppress you and not bring you to the stage of announcing you or recognizing you, God is going to confuse them, devil. Con he's going to confuse that devil. He's going to confuse that devil. He's going to scatter them. They will have when they try to speak wrong about you, they will speak right about you. Kalama Sokotiyama Sekete. Araba Shonda Diyama Sonda. Hey, there is mother of Jesus called Mary. Hallelujah. Father, do more for us this morning. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, you are great. Somebody declare it. God, you are great. God, you are great. There is no way you will be lost in history. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even people who do not believe in Jesus. They know that there is a mother called Mary. Kalama Shota. You go into even the Catholic Church. They even have tried to make statues. They don't know this woman. Some of them pray to her. But ah, Kariyama Sonda. We pray to the Jesus that was brought forth in the name of Jesus. Kalama Sonda. There were other women in that town that could have been chosen. But God decided to choose Mary. Somebody say to themselves, God, you chose me. I woke up this morning to declare on this altar that El Kariyama Sonda. Choose me, Lord. Choose me to show off your grace. I'm the candidate. I'm available, God. Make your power manifest in me. Show off your greatness of your power in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you communicating there on TikTok? Are you communicating on Facebook? Are you communicating on YouTube? Talk to me. Talk back at me. God choose me. God choose me. Ah, I I see it. I see it. Mm. God choose me. God choose me. Kalama soto kia masota kadia basanda. If Mary would have bypassed this, there is something about being silent. Sometimes when you are just silent and people are surprised how God brought you to that level of greatness and promotion in the name of Jesus. She, if she would have tried to be famous like Sam, Samson or Solomon and bring herself out there, she did not rush her elevation. She did not rush her coming out. Talk to me, somebody. Kadia basanda. She would have crushed probably. If she would have tried to announce herself, the problem that God is telling me right now, he's saying some people want to announce themselves before I have released them. And that is why their plans crash. Talk to me, somebody. Don't destroy the process. If God is taking you through the process, go through your processing room. Go through the process of being chiseled very well as a diamond that will come out shining that nobody can argue with. Go in the, that closet that you lock yourself in there and let God panel beat you. Let God work on you. Let God make Make you a wife and not a knife. Let God panel beat you into the husband you need to be. Don't just rush into things for the sake of rushing into things. Don't just sign documents before you read them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, those who are popular today had their own path that they also traveled. Hallelujah. When the angel came to Mary, we see an answer to greatness in Luke chapter 1 verse 30. When the angel spoke to her, her reply was profound. Listen to this child of God. Her reply was, be it unto me according to thy word. Somebody say in the comment section, according to thy word. 
let it be unto me. Be it unto me according to thy word. When you don't argue with God, when you don't argue with the instruction, when you don't argue with the calling, be it unto me according to thy word. Let it be according to your word. According to your word, God, what you have said about me, let it be in the name of Jesus. She was not a prophet of anything. She was not an evangelist of anything, but her life was an evangelism. So she was a woman from a low state. She was a woman from humility background. In the name of Jesus, as all she wanted was a word from heaven for her life and that it would come to pass. In the name of Jesus, it came to pass. Be it unto me according to that word. Be it unto me according to that word. And it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Perhaps she understood like Jesus that there is a heavenly gazette. There is a heavenly law that is written concerning her. Hebrews 10, 7. It says, there is something written about you. Find out what is written about you. Find out what is in your manuscript. Find out what is in your blueprint. So she had the similar understanding of the word she was carrying. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hallelujah. There is a heavenly gazette that has been published. Those of you in other countries, I don't know, you know a gazette. Normally government, when it issues out a legislation, they, they publish it in a government gazette. Hallelujah. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Perhaps she understood that there was something written about her in the book. Tell your neighbor, something is written about me. There is something written about me. There is something written about me. The journalist might not have had the instruction to call me yet, but I know there's something written about me. Watch the headlines. Watch the headlines, neighbor. There is something written about me. Talk to me, somebody. Mm. The son of man goeth as it is written unto him. Do you hear these witnesses? Matthew 26 verse 24 says that the son of man goes as it is written of man. So Jesus was not a vagabond. Jesus was not a rebel. He went around with what was written about him. The prophecies had gone forth. He was just manifesting what was already written about me. Oh, karama, shekeli, amasota. Something is written about me. Something is written about me. So I'm here to declare to you, child of God, that there is something written about you in the name of Jesus. Kalabasonda, there is a volume of the book. There is a volume of the book. Your name is there. Is your name there? If you are not born again, I just wish you could do a quick prayer fast, fast. Make sure you are getting in the volume of the book. There is something written about Christentia. In the volume of the book, there is something written about Figilis Sphere. There is something written about Ovi. By Lisha 7, there is something written about you in the name of Jesus Christ. Vim by, there is something written about you. Crystal light, there is something written about you. Tobias, there is something written about you. Wokoria Masota Kali Abasonda. Mam Jester, there is something written about you. Hebert, there is something written about you. Amelia, there is something written about you. Kundai, there is something written about you. Madika Hakala Masokote. Anna, there is a, there is something written about you in the volume of the book. So the question that is driving us this morning is what has been written about me in the volume volume of the book, Lord, uh, show me what has been written about me, Koriyama Sonda, so that I can come into the manifestation according to what is written of me in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, one thing I know uh, is that what is written about me shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no devil in hell. Zimkita, something is written about you in the name of Jesus. Koraba Sonda, Orama Sokaliyama Sonda, no matter how brilliant a fish is, it can never succeed on a tree. It will not go down. Therefore, there is something written about you that will give you the formula of your success and the formula of your letter and the formula of your rising in the name of Jesus. Oh, no matter how bright a stone is, it cannot become a fish. No matter how long it stays in the water in the name of Jesus, no matter how intelligent a monkey is, it will never... Uh, 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 it will be an absolute failure if it tries to operate in the water. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Everyone does not travel the same road to get to that same spirit of greatness, but there is a point that you get to for greatness. Ask God, what is the path that I need to travel? That is my point. Oh, Father, show me the path I need to travel to get to my point of greatness. Hallelujah. Some come across greatness early in life. Some come across it in their 20s. Some come across it in their 30s, 40s, 50s. Ask me, God, show me where is my point of greatness. I release it now.
I manifest it now. I accelerate it now in the name of Jesus. Father, satisfy me early. Satisfy me in my youth. Do not wait until I'm 100 years old to, 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 to make me enjoy life. Hallelujah. Nobody is rushing to heaven here. Listen, rapture is not coming now. We are here on this earth. God, manifest your greatness. Manifest your power of greatness in my life right now. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless me when the sun is up. God bless me when the sun is rising in my life. God bless me, not when it is setting. Bless me in the sunrise, not on the sunset. Come on, somebody, tell God. God bless me on the sunrise. God bless me on the sunrise. God bless me on the sunrise. That is my prayer right now. God bless me when the sun is rising, not when the sun is setting. Bless me, God. Don't bless me, God, when I cannot walk anymore very well, when I cannot run anymore. Hallelujah. God. God bless me on the sunrise. I see the sun rising this morning. I see the sun rising in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kariyama Sunda. Some come across their greatness because of their sweat. They are working hard. Some will come across their greatness because their intellect will, 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 will put them on that level. Hallelujah. Some with their smile. Some people need to stop being so angry and walking around being morose. Stop being so angry and walking around without a smile. When people look at you, just smile. You might just be blessed because of your smile. Some get blessed because of their, their talents. They come to their greatness because of their talents. Mary needed to do one thing. According to thy word, let it be done unto me. Hallelujah, somebody. So where does your greatness lie? Where does your greatness lie? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the volume of the book, it is written of you. You will be. You will be great. The Holy Spirit will teach you to be great. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the volume of the book, somebody type it there in the comment section, God is great. Oh, tears may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The sun is rising for somebody this morning. Shout that amen louder. The sun is rising for somebody this morning. Hallelujah. Have you found the volume of the book yet? Have you found the volume of the book yet? Do not get distracted. Make sure you locate the volume of the book. Make sure you locate the chapter. Make sure you locate the paragraph, the sentence, and the word that tells you it is written of you. See your name in that book. Hallelujah. The mystery is in finding out what is written in the book concerning you. And you pursue that thing like never before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, don't go away from this broadcast without knowing what is written of you in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, show me what has been written of me. What am I supposed to be? So I can know to pray targeted prayers. My father, my father, show what is written of be about me concerning my marriage so that I know I pray targeted prayers and I don't pray for the wrong person. My father, my father, what is my divine destiny so that my prayers are targeted and show me who is contending with me. Show me who is tormenting me so that I Scatter them and shoot them out. Please don't go shoot them out in the, with the bullets on there. <laughs> oh, glory to Jesus. But the spiritual bullet will come out and take them out. The spiritual bullet will shift them out of the atmosphere. The spiritual bullet will make sure that they do not sit on that seat. Let fire catch the seat of the person that I'm contending with. That job is mine in the name of Jesus Christ. That person, I don't care how many people they say they shortlisted. I don't care how many people say they applied. God I take possession of my seat. I take possession of my job. I am being promoted. No, I don't care. I don't care that there's there's a thousand Christians in that same establishment or uh, institute that you are working in. As for me, myself, and I, God, show me what is written of me. In the volume of the book, it is written of me that I will be promoted, I will be elevated, I'm the head and not the tail. Therefore, God, I take my rightful position on that seat in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, the devil will not get your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what God has called you to be will come into fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take it upon yourself to know what is written about you in the volume of the book. Somebody shout, our God is great. Shout it right now. Our God is great. Your pregnancy is guaranteed and it is protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Run with that word. 
just prayed for somebody unfortunate online. Make sure you receive it and you run with that word. The Israelites mocked God in the book of Numbers chapter 13. They made God angry several times, but God is still God. Do you understand that after making God angry so many times, God still loved Israel. He showed mercy on them. He brought them out of the land of slavery. He parted the Red Sea for them. He is a God that brings miracles to a man's life. He is a God that brings ends to a man's sorrow. He doesn't care. He knows you are, a, you are just a human being. You make mistakes. You, you sin, you backslide, you come back, you repent. You are like the Israelites. Sometimes you just go around the same mountain and he's looking at you and he's wondering, why is he or she not just following my instruction? Oh my God, my God. But God said, I must tell you this morning and remind you, he is a great God. Somebody shout on this protocol breaking prayer altar. God is a great God. I'm a God who performs miracles. I am a I'm a God who brings you out of slavery. I'm the God who will part the Red Sea for you. I'm a God that will make sure that it shall not overwhelm you. It shall not drown you. No matter the high, the waters, hallelujah. I'm the God that will make sure that the fire will not consume you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is the same God that brought Peter out of prison. Talk to me, somebody. He that was bound and locked became free because there was a great God. There was a great God that brought Peter out. He appeared for him. Therefore, your prayer this morning, God appeared for me as you appeared for Peter. When a man mocks God through sin, he experiences repeated problems. That is why yesterday I believe the word of rebuke came forth that we should look at our lives and honor the temple of God and remember that he is not pleased when we commit sin in the name of Jesus. So we shall not mock God by continuing in sin so that grace may abound. We will not continue in apostasy. Am I talking to somebody this morning? We will not continue to sin. Hallelujah. Because when we do so, we mock God and we experience repeated problems that we are continuously fighting battles that we shouldn't have ordinarily been fighting in the name of Jesus Christ. So we don't want to enter into problems. God, forgive us our sins and our trespasses. Father, we forgive those that have trespassed against us, O oh God. Lord, we bless our enemies. We say, Lord, we are handing them over to you. You know what to do. Dear God, over to you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, so child of God, whenever you see problems in your life, you need to ex examine yourself. Whenever you see things that are sinking in you, examine yourself. Is God great in my life? Why is God not manifesting the greatness? Make up your mind that you will see the end of the day. That the great God will resolve that problem. Do not sit with problems and magnify your problems above the God that you serve. There is a God that is great that is going to solve that problem. Whatever it is that is heavy in your heart, God is going to solve that issue. You will see the end of the day. Tell your neighbor, you will see the end of the day. You will see the end of the day. Those of you who thought of chickening out and giving up your spirit, hallelujah. The Lord says, I'm not, I don't have need of you in heaven yet. So please stay there. Child of God. God is great. God is great. Do you don't have to engage yourself anxiety and worry because those anxiety and worry are, 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 are the major factors that cause problems. He says in an atmosphere of joy, that is an atmosphere of the miraculous. That is why this morning I woke up with the praise in my spirit that you are my champion. Giants fall when I call out your name. Jericho's walls around me fall down when I call out your name. You are a great God. You are so great, God. I, when I praise you, I just know things are happening. Hey, God is greater than any problem, Petty, in the name of Jesus. Look at the example of Job. Job didn't see problem. He saw God. See God. Tell your neighbor, I see God. I see God. I don't see the problem. Like Job, I don't see the problem. Next, 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 next. Nothing, nothing. Not nada, nada, nada. I see God. I see God. Oh, Jesus. How am I doing for time? Ah, we are still good. Joseph and Daniel did not see the problem. They saw God. Tell your neighbor, I see God. Fortune Online, you need to keep track. Do you see God? I see God. I see God. Oh, I see God. Tell your neighbor, I see God. I see God. 
I don't see the pit. I don't see the grave they're digging up. I don't see the gossip. I see God. I see God. I see the greatness of God. I see God. I don't, I don't see symptom. I see God. When they give you a diagnosis, funny paper at the hospital, they say, I see God. Whatever they say, I say, okay, God, 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 God. On this paper, God. Never nurse your problems. Don't be nursing your problem. Are you a medical practitioner? Are you a nurse? Don't nurse your problems. If you keep on nursing your problems, they keep growing. Don't nurse your problems. Nurse praising God. Worship God. You are great. God, you are great. God, you are great. When God shows his greatness in your destiny, who can dare stop you? His greatness in the Red Sea was seen. Who stopped the Israelites? They passed freely. Let the red carpet roll out for you. See God. I see God. You need the greatness of God to manifest in your life for your destiny to function. If the greatness of God is not manifested in you, there's no way destiny will function. See God. I see God. Tom, somebody declare in the comment section, I see God. Mara official, you are on point. You are moving fast this morning. I see God. I see God. But see God, don't see the problem. Don't nest the problem. See God. I see God. I see God. When you see God, you are saying God is great. When you see God, you say, I know that you are the, I am that I am. I know that you are the unchangeable one. When I say I see God, I am confessing. I see the, I am that I am. I see the unchangeable one. I, when I say I see God, I'm saying that my vision is clear. It is not impaired. I am not moving ignorantly. I'm not moving with sin. I know what I have. I have God. I have a great God. When I enter into the vision of God for my life, I understand that I will manifest. When I say I see God, I know my manifestation has come. Oh, whatever vision that you would have had personally for yourself as a mere human would not have been original. But when you look at God and you say, I see God, you see his God's original content, God's original design, not a fake, not a knockoff. Hallelujah. We are saying we are seeing God this morning. God is great. We are saying God is able to give us the breakthroughs we need in the name of Jesus Christ. We are seeing God as being able to a never ending God that brings us breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ. When we see God, we say we are seeing what you did in the life of Abraham. When we are saying, I see God, we are saying, Lord, you told Abraham that you are going to be, he's your friend and you're going to be there for him. And you made him a great man. You told him that he cannot count the stars in the sky because if he can count the, sky, the, the stars, he would have seen how much the blessing. So it, as the, Equally, if you cannot count the stars that are in the sky, that is how many, how many blessings that God is sending you this morning. I see God. Oh, Ovi, thank you. You see God in your family. I like those who are, who are even tapping their family in and you are confessing it. And you are, you are, you are declaring that they, they are also seeing God. They are seeing God. You are seeing God for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God. God is greater. God is great. And he turned things around. God is great and he's making you a hero and he's making you a hero in Jesus mighty name. God is great because he's great because he's making your enemies to sleep. And when your enemies sleep, God is making you to escape. You will escape any plan of the enemy because God is great. God is great. I'm escaping. My enemies are asleep. They will not catch me. They will not know when I achieved what I achieved. I see God. I see God. When you say that God is great, it means that he is the I am that I am. Flora, may God show himself as the I am that I am, as the unchangeable changer for you in the name of Jesus Christ. What God says you are is what you will be. It can never be otherwise. The question, as I said, what is he saying about you? What is written in the volume of the book? God says, are you ready for me? I said, what is written about you in the volume of the book? God says you are lifted. God says you are lifted. God says you are a success. God says you are a lender to the nation, not a borrower. God says you are lifted. God says you are a success. God says you are a lender to the nations. You are not a borrower. 
Ah, what is written in the volume of the book concerning you? What is written about me, O God? God says you are my anointed. You are the Lord's anointed in the name of Jesus Christ. God says you are not a beggar. God says you are the son of God and you are the daughter of God. God says you are lifted above principalities and powers. Am I communicating to somebody? I wish you would believe a believing amen and you shout it even louder. Make that amen sound well. Shout that amen well. You are not a beggar. You are lifted above principalities and powers. You are meant for signs and wonders. You are not meant to be chasing them. You are meant for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders chase you. You are not to cry, but you are to be celebrated. Oh, what is written about you in the volume of the book? I will not cry. I will be celebrated in the name of Jesus Christ. What is written about you in the volume of the book? You are living in abundance. I came so that they may have life and have it in abundance. I came to give them a quality life. I came the, came to give them an extended life, a life of increase, a life of no lack in the name of Jesus Christ. I came and I wrote about them in the volume of the book. Fortune, tell them that they are intelligent. Tell them that they carry the spirit of the most high. Tell them that they carry the spirit of the Holy Spirit. That is that same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the, the, the dead. They carry the spirit of immortality. They carry the spirit that can resurrect any dead issue. They carry the spirit that can bring bones and flesh together. They carry the spirit that can bring their dreams to functionality. And they carry the the dreams that that the dreams can come back to birth they can bring life into their situations in the mighty name of jesus christ fortune tell them that it is written in the book that they will lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed tell them fortune that they will not fail i will not fail them in the name of jesus christ tell them fortune that in the volume of the book it is written that they will enter into a breakthrough of a lifetime that breakthroughs are they are thing in the name of jesus that is your bread it is the children's bread tell them that they live in the life of the overflow they are anointed and they are overflowing in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell them fortune that the book of the volume of the book saying that they have the solutions to the problems of other people and those solutions that they are bringing to others will make them uh, the head and not the tail. Tell them fortune that that is where their money lies. Talk to me somebody. Tell them they are the solution. They are a blessing to people. Tell them fortune that they cannot be tormented. Tell them that whatever witches and wizards can do towards them can never prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says tell them what is in the volume of the book because it looks like they have forgotten. Tell them fortune that they need to dominate. Tell them that I gave them dominion in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verses 28. Remind them fortune that they are to be fruitful, multiply and uh, and replenish the earth. Remind them fortune that they are victors. Remind them that they are not paupers. Remind them fortune that they are not hopers. Remind them fortune. Hallelujah. Talk to me somebody. Remind them that the Holy Spirit that is inside of them is empowering them to prosper. Remind them that they must know that the Holy Spirit is taking care of every single problem in their lives in the name of Jesus. Remind them, fortune, that when they do what is pleasing in my sight, I will show my greatness in their destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Your greatness is coming forth in the name of Jesus. Mm. I decree and I declare you will not miss the heaven's plan. There is a plan from God. There is a plan that heaven has for you on this earth. You will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Laura. God bless you. Hallelujah. Your life is entering into the vision of God today. That your life will enter God's vision for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kariya Masata Kariya. I decree and declare breakthrough in your lifetime. Breakthrough in the sunrise. Breakthrough in the sunrise, not the sunset. It is locating you right now by the power of the great God. Greatness is locating you right now. By the power of the great God in the name of Jesus. Oh, my father, my father, every enemy of progress against any goals that I have, any enemy of progress against any physical, spiritual goals I have, hear the word of the Lord. Scatter right now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Susan, good morning. The greatness of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you are what God says you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me decree and declare as I close in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will come out of your repeated problems in the name of Jesus Christ. The greatness of God will show up in your situation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that today, all the elementary forces will work for you for good. The sun will work for you. The sea will work for you. The earth will work for you. The fire will work for you. 
the moon, the stars, everything that God has created will work for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will not work against you. You see, when I declare that the sea will work for you, I'm commanding anything that resides in the sea that it must work for you, not against you. So what I'm saying, I'm declaring that there is no marine spirit that is going to scatter you. There is no marine spirit that is going to dislodge you, dislocate you. The greatness of God has risen upon you. In the next 12 hours, begin to receive answers in the name of Jesus. God accelerate answers to prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. The greatness of God will manifest for your glory. And the greatness of God will manifest in his glory. In the name of Jesus, your problems will end as you declare right now, God is great. God is great. You will live to testify in the name of the Lord. Somebody write in that comment section, I will testify. It is my time to testify. God is great. God is great. I will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is great and greatly to be praised. God is great. Oh, Jesus. Lord, we glorify you this morning. We glorify you this morning. I am destined for greatness. Tell your neighbor, I will testify. It is my time to testify. We don't have to be afraid of becoming great child of God. It is your time to testify. It is your time to testify. I'm just checking your pulse on, on Facebook. Are you there? Are you tracking with us on Facebook? Are you there? My greatness shall never be hidden. I decree and declare that your greatness will never be hidden. I speak to every single coven, wherever you are, wherever they are hiding your greatness and your destiny. Let your destiny and greatness jump out of that coven right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your finances are settled. They will not be in bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. Every anti spirit of greatness anti-greatness spirit anti-greatness power wherever it is coming from we command you to expire in the name of jesus every power every principality spirit power that is trying to position you for backwardness or for stagnation your time is up go 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 now in the name of jesus Every strong man that has been assigned to demote your destiny, right now it dies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every single voice that has been saying you will not go far. I decree and I decree, decree that it will expire now. I declare it now. It will expire now. I issue that decree. It is expiring now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for these ones that have come this morning. I decree on their behalf, O oh God. I stand in the gap with them, O oh God. Call Abashata and for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that there will be no opportunity waste us. Your opportunities shall be visible and you will grab them on time. You will not miss them in Jesus' mighty name. Father, there will be no destiny killers. All our helpers will not be killed in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not the candidate of death. In the name of Jesus Christ, any power that has been troubling your star, any power that has been troubling your glory, any power that has been troubling your destiny, right now it dies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavens over my greatness, open by fire. Declare that with me. Come on, talk to the heavens. Lift up your hands and say, heavens that are over my greatness, open by fire. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies of greatness be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, I thank you. We give you praise, honor, and adoration, oh God. We thank you for everybody that has showed up this morning. We thank you for those of you on Facebook and on YouTube. May God bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are destined for greatness. In Jesus' mighty name, do not forget it. Don't forget to be awesome as you are typing in the comment section. It is my time to testify. Take somebody and tell them it's your time to testify. It's your time to testify. God is great. 
please, as you sign out, you write, it is my time to testify and God is great. It is my time to testify and God is great. It is my time to testify and God is great. It is my time to testify and God is great. God will show his greatness on your life. God will show his greatness on your children. God will show his greatness every single place you are functioning in, whether it is in a workplace environment, whether it is your business, you will make it. You will not give out. You will not give in. You will not give up. You will testify and God is great. I will testify and God is great. I will testify and God is great. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you praise, honor, and adoration. I thank you for using me as the vessel, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a point of contact for somebody's liberation. Thank you, Lord, that somebody who has giving up today will not give up in Jesus' mighty name. They will charge forward. They will remember your greatness. They will remember what is written in the book of the law about them. They will remember what is in the volume of the book about them. Lord, let them walk around with that consciousness and that confidence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peter, you, uh, you are... You are you are grace, amen. More grace, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Those of you who are coming across our Facebook and YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe. If you are on TikTok, you know what to do. You go to the to the to, to my profile and you will see the link for YouTube. Make sure you subscribe for YouTube as well. Everybody just rush quickly and follow the host. Do me a favor, please follow all the people that have gifted as well, especially you guys on TikTok as well. You follow each other just to say thank you on my behalf because they've given an offering. And you can follow each other. I am open to it, make friends, uh, pray for each other, patronize each other. You guys are in business, pray for each other, take somebody, just choose a friend in the comment section that you will pray with them. It is important that we continue the ministry of intercession. Amen. I love you so much, guys. Have an awesome super day.